I was going to ask you about her coach saying on the radio last week that he wants to, you know, you guys to be able to establish home ice, sort of the way you played on the road. I was wondering what you thought about, you know, what it'll take for you guys to kind of enjoy the same success at home that you've been doing on the road so far this year. Yeah, it'll obviously, uh, good teams win at home and steal some points on the road. Uh, you have to in this league, it's so tight. Uh, we just got to stick to our systems and play mm -hmm. the way we did against Colgate for the first, second, and overtime period mm -hmm. pretty much. And we should be all right. And you had a tough four game the road trip to start the year to get half the points out of that. You know, you feel like that was pretty successful given who you were playing and stuff. And, yeah. yeah, if you if you're 500 on the road, you know you can't really be disappointed with that. I mean, obviously the Cornell loss was a little bit tough, but uh, bounced back in against Colgate. So uh, yeah. you know, three points out of possible six is nothing really to complain about. And the games have all been pretty low scoring right now. As a defensive player, is that you know you'd like to see some offense on your own? Does it make it kind of fun to be part of these games that are really tight all the time? I mean, does it give you maybe an extra challenge on that end of the ice? And, yeah. Oh, I mean, a win's a win, a tie's a tie, yeah. a loss a loss. It doesn't matter if it's yeah. one nothing or seven nothing. You know, it's right. as long as you get the two points at the end of the day. That's all that matters. I was curious too about just. Uh, Playing against uh, Quinnipiac this, on Friday night, you know they have a pretty good offense. So, what are you looking forward to as challenges wise in that game? Like, what do they what do they do that gives you guys uh, some challenges on the end of the ice? Yeah, well, they have a pretty good offense, but we have a very good defense as well. So, uh, it'll be it'll be a good head to head matchup, I think. Um, I'm excited to see uh, how players have progressed from their team, like Pekka and, and Ass. So, it'll be fun to go head to head against them for sure. And with Princeton too, it's kind of a weird situation because you played them four times at the end of last year. You almost, you know, it almost seems kind of early to play them again, but how does it help when you play a team that much and you play them again the next year? I mean, you're obviously pretty familiar with what they do, even though they have a new coach and stuff, but even though the players and, you know. Yeah, we, I mean, it's teams change every year, but they kind of have the same systems with a new coach. It'll be interesting. Uh, they did graduate a lot of players last year, so right. they're going to have a new kind of inventory of players, so we'll see how that turns out.